said the joint was going to be empty, Mikey. You promise, man. Uh, no big deal, kid. Just a couple of pumps stealing some of the Padre's wine. There was kids in there, Mikey. There was, there was kids in there. Why don't you crawl out from under that table so we can talk about this like a couple of men? Oh, Mikey, I can't stand up. I don't want to. I feel sick, Mikey. Oh, what do you mean, sick, Ellie boy? You're fine. Just a little shook up, that's all. Come on, get up here. You don't get it, do you? We done a bad thing. We gotta pay for it. I can already feel the tides of trouble rolling towards us. Tides of what? You've been watching that GD idiot box again. I told you, boy, you gotta read books. How do you expect to better yourself? You ain't reading no books. I ain't got time for no books no more, Mikey. You the one who told me I got got more important things to do, except books. What? Well, yeah, like sitting under the table smelling like a burnt-out Chevy. I got I got important things to do outside of outside of this room. I mean, you show me that. That's right. You a freedom fighter. And we're going to win this war for you, and me, and God. How's the nose hairs? They all singed up, you know? Yeah, I can smell that fire on me real bad. I smell that oil, that kerosene on me like Old Spice. <laughs> like burnt Old Spice. Are you eating? I'm hungry. How can you eat with what we just did? Why don't you haul your ass out from under that table and you'll see. Oh, as if what we did wasn't bad enough. What about the way we smell, huh? The way you smell, I'm fine. No, you're not. You smell like burning shit. I didn't notice. <laughs> Are you going to come up here and eat? I ain't got no stomach for no food. Like, I'm thinking about them kids. What about them? So they was real young and they, maybe... Maybe, maybe they didn't make it out. Maybe they did. Now get your ass out from under that table before I kick you. Go ahead. Kick me all you want. I got it coming. Go ahead. I don't want to kick you, Alley boy. Come on. You just got to get out from under that table so we can discuss our next move. There's more? Are you just now telling me we ain't through yet? We just getting started. What did you say a minute ago that the uh, the tides were gonna start rolling in? We about to start rolling out. I wanna go home. I just wanna get on the next bus back to Nebraska and go on home. But well, now we looking good this time of year. What are they up to? Four residents now? A regular boom town. Ain't no shame in being from there. Everybody got to be from somewhere, so that you might as well be from Manawi, Nebraska. Well, you're here right now, so you can just forget all that going back, Tom. Now, come on, get up here. Here. Eat some of this. I'm here for. You just keep listening to old Mike and you see if you don't live yourself a better life. I'm just worried about them kids. I, I mean, they was going in as we was coming out and, and you know, when those balloons went off, I... This food tastes like it was cooking kerosene! Look, that's just you, old boy. You gotta take that shirt off or everything gonna smell like that. Like, how am I gonna get this off of me? Shirt? The stench, Mikey! The smell! I gotta get the smell off of me! I feel like it's eating me alive! It's an angry smell, Mikey, and it's, it's coming over me like cancer! Boy, what the hell are you talking about? I'm talking about... You know, maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Maybe we shouldn't fight for our freedom by burning no, down churches. It's not our freedom we're fighting for. It's the freedom of our people and the way to choose the right that they keep it. What are you saying? Look, uh, where are you from, Ellie boy? We're now in Nebraska, Mike. No, I, I mean before. Where, 
Where are your people from? Your family? From here and there. Exactly. Our people live from the land, and they die back into it when the time comes. In the meantime, our freedom is a precious thing that we have to fight for. So, burning down churches? Want to protect our freedom how? It, just help me understand it, Mike. Go give me some crackers, Ellen boy. What is it, Mikey? I'll believe anything you tell me, but you gotta tell me something. I, I will even stop worrying about little kids if you think I should. But, but you gotta give me something, Mike. You gotta give me something. Oh boy. I gotta start out by telling you that our work here is just the beginning. What we're gonna do is, is bigger than you. It's bigger than Manawi or Chickasaw. When we get done, everybody is gonna know who we are. We're going to be important. People are going to listen to us. And then they can't fight us no more, because we'll be too strong. But it's just us. Like, how are we going to get stronger if it's just us? They're going to need us. They're going to have a fear, and they're going to come to us, and we're going to put that fear away. How are we going to do that looking and smelling the way we do? That's where I got a nose hair left, and the smell of us is killing me. But they're going to hear the word, and they're going to come around. Get stronger. How are they gonna hear the word we keep burning down the churches? <laughs> the church ain't nothing but a building, Alley Boy. We have the word, the truth, and the way. We have all the tools that we need to do what it is that we need to do. I just don't think the law is gonna see it that way. <laughs> Police stations burn down too, Alley Boy. That's it. I am so common like I was never even here. You can't go burning down no police stations, Mike. That boys don't play. We are on a course. It is our destiny for me to do what I think is right and burn it down anything that gets in my way. Our way, Mike. It was supposed to be our way. It was our way until you decided to leave. Go on now. Fly, little yellow bird. Get it. They're gonna catch me, Mike. If anything happened to them kids, I'm gonna pay for it. Now you're gonna run. You're gonna hide. They're gonna catch you too. I'm gonna fry for what we did. And if, if they catch you, Mike, you're gonna fry too. You ready for that? You better get ready for that, because that is surely how your time on this earth is going to end. You're going out the same way you send in some people to meet their makers, Mike. And I guess I'm one of those people too, seeing as a counterbite. I followed you and we took it this far. I'll tell you something. I'm going back to, Nebra to Nebraska now. And if they don't catch me on the way, well, they ain't never getting a second chance to. We ain't got nothing to worry about, Alley Boy. You just go your way and I'll go mine. You search for the truth while I preach it. You hear me? I hear you, Mike. I'm leaving now. So long, Alley Boy. If I'm ever in Nebraska, I'll be sure to avoid that turd heap known as Manawi. You feel free to pass through Nebraska any time without stopping in Manawi. Ain't got no churches there, no how. No, but we got some truth, and we got some original sin, and that's what we call real life. Sound like a travel agent from the Old Testament, Al. Maybe I am, Mike. Maybe I am. All right, get it! I got things to do. So long, now, Mike. So long, man. Mike, you remember that church, that old red church just outside of Pittsburgh? Yeah, I do. I watched you tie them balloons. I watched you light them matches, and well, I thought I was looking at greatness. Well, thank you, boy. This might have not seen you say I was wrong. You ain't great. Sure, you can do some things that some people can't do, but. You certainly are a genius. You ain't great. Well, I am what I am, boy. Yes, you are, Mike. Only I hope for more for myself. Even in Manawi? Even in Manawi.